Hey, welcome back everyone to this new video tutorial about Unreal Networking and in, I'm opening our to-do list and in this to-do list we were working on player floating names and nameplates and if you remember well it wasn't working quite well I'm going to open up my test map so that I, I suppose that is your third person example map your base level actually and if I hit play what is going to happen I believe we're going to have big health bar big bad health bar and only few of them are being are being everyone has an invalid name and one has a Jimmy name I'm not sure why so what are we going to do I'm, I'm just going to hit play again and our player doesn't have his health bar and the health bar is too big first thing I'm going to reduce that size because I can't I can't seem to be able to see anything where did I put that, that nameplate in the first place nameplate here we are so I'm going to reduce that it's not bold it's small well, not that small. That's smaller, a bit larger, and that is. I want that to be quite small. Yep, I'm going to hit play. I suppose that it's going to look a bit better. So if I expand that, oh, not not quite. That's that's still very big actually. And I can't seem to be able to move. That's because I disabled my inputs. So that's that was quite big, actually. I'm going to reduce that. Uh, I'm going to say that spacer is literally really small. What does that say? yep that's so we have a problem of of positions of positioning first to solve so when we create that when we attach that to players I believe we have some trouble so open up our third person character let's see where we attach this so on the add widget component we're saying the draw size is big we need to fix the draw size to the size of our box 150 per 30 so I want that to be way up so if I hit play so I increase the, the pivot in Y axis I change the size this suppose I think it's supposed to yep this is looking quite better I'm going to say a little bit below so our 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 nameplates looking yep we have nameplates I'm going to reduce the the width of them again I mean so I, we need to change that in both place well actually we could get the, the box and no we couldn't this is ex experimental it's really hard to do anything with that maybe we could change the settings here and does do that automatically but for now it's going to be enough for our prototyping sessions so yep we have nameplates that's that's quite nice so now we need that to update the name properly properly so what happens if I hit play here, we are not creating the the game slot, so the game slot does not exist, I believe, or maybe it does. But we are going to try it out from our out game menu, just to see if it behaves differently. So open up our out game menu, hit play. We are going to do that test using two players, and we're going to reset our a name. So create a game, browse online games. I'm going to set that name to new to Yoon save name we're going to join I, I believe it's going to be called Yoon as well yep so I'm going to hit start game and what is what is going to happen I 
guess one is going to get the U name and the other one invalid name. U and invalid. So on the server, people have an invalid name and on the client, they have a good name. So I'm going to remove the branch I created so that so everyone get, everyone gets a everyone gets a nameplate in order to be able to better see what happens so i just went on the on the event where we're creating the nameplates when we loop i remove the branch from the execution nodes just to see just to have a nameplate on every players so i don't want to host a multiplayer game i want to browse servers I want to join that game. So we have two units. Yep, I want to start game. And how are people being how are people going to be called? Boss, you know on server on server some of have an invalid name. So why is that? Why is that? So an event begin player on our character. We're telling the owning client to get our save game. Maybe because the save game does not exist on server. Maybe that's it. We're going to do. Hmm. No, that that is supposed to be run on sir on client, so that 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 exists. The name saved is that we're just going to print the oh yes of course I executed that on on clients that is supposed to be executed on server yep and that is going to work I suppose we're going to open up our level test map third person example map for you I believe hit play and everyone is called Yoon yep so nice we get a nameplate spawning with the name of the player i believe we should we will be able to view how it behaves with with different names uh in the end we're going to make a, a package version of our game so a shipped version of our game and we'll be we'll be launching several execution of our game joining sessions with different save games and see different names appearing but for now, I suppose that's going to wrap up that video because we have proper nameplates working. And yep, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I, I hope to see you guys in the next uh, video. Bye-bye.